Hey guys, this is Amal from another Craft 209. I want to do a quick video update uh, for two custom uh, orders that I've just completed. And these are for Albert and for Derek. And they're two different cases, but I want to review them for the client, but also for anyone who's interested to kind of show you the options that are available. So really quick, if you follow my YouTube channel, you've seen this case. I actually made it for my Note 4. It's got this wet molding for my EDC stuff, my Swiss Army knife and my little micro screwdriver here. And of course it has a, a card slot here and then two flaps in here uh, to hold uh, cash or whatever, uh, some paperwork. And so this is kind of how I designed it. And of course I had a couple of people mess, uh, message me, in fact, uh, quite a few. And so they were kind of interested in it uh, making. So this is the first two that I've just completed. And one is for the Note 4 without uh, a case on the back. It's just kind of for a, a slim line, you know, caseless Note 4. And the other one is for an iPhone 6. 6, yeah. Let's make sure it's not the 6 Plus. But anyway, I do have the measurements for that. Uh, the customer did send me the, uh, the measurements. So really quick, let me go over. Uh, for this one, this is for the iPhone 6 and... Uh, this is for Albert and he wanted a basic basic case. So I'll just review on my back. You know, I have all this stuff going on here. And uh, what he wanted was just a, a really durable case with a clip. And so that's what we have here. Now this is a different kind of clip. Uh, if, if you compare it to the back of this case, for example, this is what kind of the standard clip I was using. But they do have this new clip in and of course it is used for like gun holsters. In fact, both of these are for uh, gun holsters or knife sheets. Uh, this one though, because it is a basic case, it doesn't have to have any um, of the back pocket, the wet molding. So I did not add another layer of, of uh, leather right here because that was not necessary. It would also make the case a little bit thicker. You know, so like this one you can see that is two layers of four ounce, uh, four to five ounce leather back here. And there's no need for that because there's no panel. This is on a basic case. So this is probably the clip I will be using for the basic cases if in case anyone's wondering. Now I can also use this one but um, basically the leather would be cut down right here and it would be just like a two inch strip of leather with this kind of method right here. So I could always do that if, if you needed to. So this is the clip that uh, Albert chose, a very heavy duty. And on the basic case there is no lining. So right here there's no pocket. This is just a four to five ounce piece of leather. All right, and uh, I, it is dyed, of course, but this is that Java Brown, which I really like because it shows kind of the, the texture of the leather. And this is, of course, full grain leather, so um, it is super durable. It is, you know, not, you know, treated or, uh, you know, sh shaved down to kind of hide imperfections. It is straight up, you know, top grain. So, of course, the downside of that is sometimes you will see scars. So if you look carefully right here, there's like a scar. But yeah, every once in a while you'll see some mosquito bite or something, barbed wire uh, that's caught. But that is also what makes the top grain leather so much tougher is because the skin's been exposed to the elements and so it has kind of this um, strength to it. Anyway, so the inside there's no lining up top here. There is lining down here. This is a black uh, pigskin lining and you can see it's stitched. You can see the stitching right here to uh, basically hold it in place but none of the rivets and none of the snaps are showing on the inside so the phone is specifically um, you know nicely encased in the leather with no metal and this is with the elastic gussets right here okay all right so that is the basic case design no extra pockets um, very uh, slim line but still really durable made with top grain leather and this is tooling leather this one thing I wanted to mention, this is what uh, leather comes like when you first get it, when I first get it, when I first started working with it. And you can see it has this kind of, kind of tan, natural color. And one of the things I wanted to mention is, you can't always tell when there's a scar in here. You can see some mosquito bites right there. But you can't always tell until you actually put the dye on and then, you know, certain things come out. Especially with this Java Brown, which does this kind of marbling effect. And then you can kind of see some of the stuff, um, you know, to me, that is what real leather looks like. That is what, you know, um, super strong leather is supposed to be and not you know, that fake genuine leather stuff. So anyway, that is um, the iPhone 6 case with Albert. And then this is the uh, Note 4 case 
for Derek. So let me go over the design of it. There are some modifications to it uh, versus my original case. So this is the card slot here. You can see I have business cards uh, in here and uh, what else? oh, and uh, a gift card just to kind of represent what a credit card would look like or sit like. And then the top here, this is sealed, right? So there is no uh, pocket here. And then there's the slot here for uh, car, uh, cads, cash, or cards, sorry. And now on the over here, I did add a little lip right here. And so the deal is if you have, let's say, uh, a credit card in there that uh, you have stored or some kind of backup cash or something, maybe even a key, and you have that sliding in, you have that in there, that um, if it starts to slide out, and uh, the idea of this is that this lip will catch it. So, you know, if it starts to do that, you can see that it comes to a rest right in there. Uh, and also, uh, it is made to clear. So, let's say, when you're putting your phone in, the first kind of position it goes into, you can see that the, the slit is high up enough away where it won't necessarily catch that, uh, you know, once you get and they used to holstering your phone, uh, one thing you'll notice is that it is high up there, so you won't have to worry about the phone necessarily catching this. I mean, you might catch it every once in a while, but it is stitched down, so you're not going to have this rollover effect, which, which I have going on right here. But to me, that doesn't bother me. If I really need to go back, I can, of course, run a stitch right here for myself, uh, which I may or may not do. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, that is the kind of interior walk through this is with that uh, tan leather uh, elastic gussets on this one too and then on the back side uh, instead of the wet molding which I have on my case uh, Derek wanted two belt loops so really quick the belt loops I made specifically to go um, to fit one half inch belts but also two inch belts so uh, most people don't have two inch belts but you know if you're doing some kind of heavy duty construction work sometimes you have two inch belts and so I did uh, kind of um, when I make my belt loops I make them to be able to accommodate two inch belts if you need to uh, here's the basic uh, clip that I have and of course the cutout and you can see the cutout on this one too right here uh, the cutout is a little bit different say from mine uh, one thing is because of the belt loops because uh, I want to make the, make sure they accommodate two inches. This panel is just a little bit longer, right? A smidge longer. So you can see on mine, my punch cutout right here is right against this panel. And when you when you have it like that, it, on mine it doesn't. Uh, it shows just a little bit when I'm wearing it, right? This part. Uh, on this one, because this panel is longer. Once again, it is right against the edge of that this panel. But because it is a little bit longer, the punch out has shifted um, to the front a little bit, which is fine. I mean, um, it actually would work out a little bit uh, nicer in some ways because what that means is you can, uh, instead of having to reach back further, you can just kind of push your finger up in there, you know, and uh, get your phone out. And the other thing I actually use my cutout for is when I have this holstered onto my belt and I want to just double check to make sure that my phone is in, I can actually just uh, feel feel the edge of the phone, right? And if it's empty, your finger just goes right through it, and then you know you left your phone on the table or whatever. So I really like that cutout. It helps with uh, getting the phone out if it's kind of a tight squeeze, if you have a bunch of stuff in the, in the pocket here. But um, you can also use it to kind of feel to make sure that it's still there. All right, guys. So uh, that has been my review of the two cases I just finished up. I should have a couple more that I'm working on that are customized too, so stay tuned for that. Uh, they all have kind of different stuff going on. So, pretty excited, uh, lots of new cases I'll be working on. And, um, so once again, this was the basic design. Uh, if you want something without uh, all the pockets and kind of extra stuff. Uh, there's no lining back here. This is four to five ounce leather with this black lining. Still, once again, super durable. You uh, don't have to worry about it. Of course, it will get scratched if you look carefully. Let me see if I can. So right here, I don't know what I was doing. I probably threw the case down on the floor or something. I have a four-year-old. She also picks up my phone. 
and my case. You can see there's a scratch right there. But, um, you know, that is easily f actually fixed. I just like it because it builds character in my opinion. It looks, it looks really cool to me. But uh, if you need to fix that, then it can be easily fixed with a little bit of oil or even a little bit of uh, dye if you wanted to do that, um, you know. But, you know, as leather wears, it will, ha will kind of get this really cool, uh, you know, wearing look over time. This is just one kind of big scratch. You probably can't make out the other ones really well, but uh, you know it will do that over time, depending on kind of the use you put it through. But once again, it is still you know this leather is not going to break down like some of the other leathers, which are what they call genuine leather, where they take off the top layer of the skin to hide the scars and the mosquito bites and the barbed wire. But that is what makes leather stronger uh, on top grain leather. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully. Uh, I explained everything as far as the cases go. If you're interested in ordering from me and kind of custom designing your own version of the case, uh, shoot me a message or email. I will provide a link to my website. And um, yeah, take care. Stay tuned. I will be having a couple more cases and a couple more EDC stuff coming up. Thanks. Bye.